Hey, what's up? Jason here. If you didn't already know, this Monday I'm releasing my new architecture course. I haven't talked about it too much because I've been really busy just putting together content and releasing videos and other things, but I wanted to quickly answer some of the questions I've been getting about it and just give everybody a real brief overview of what's coming, what to expect, and why they might be interested in the course. First, I want to talk about what's not in there, and that's the beginner stuff. If you're very new to programming or really new to Unity, the architecture course really isn't at the level that you're going to be at yet. You really need to start somewhere like the programmer course, level up a bit, and get more familiar with game development before this will make sense. In the architecture course, we're going to be solving bigger problems like integrating big systems together, rapidly creating a bunch of different systems, and keeping things in line so that everything works is easy to maintain and is easy to work with other developers or game designers or artists on our project. Let's get to the questions. The first question that comes in all the time is, what types of games will we learn how to build? What are we going to put together? And the answer to that is that we're actually going to build one type of game, but we're going to build one big type of game that uses all kinds of different systems and ties them together. That integration is really going to be the focus of the course. But if you think about an RPG or just a standard role-playing game, any system that you would see in an RPG is pretty much what we're going to be putting together. Things like quest systems, stat systems for your player, leveling systems to level them up and have some player progression game persistence to save everything off locally or remotely, weapon systems with the ability to customize your weapons, ability to make scripts for different boss fights, and all of those kinds of fun things that you would expect to see in an RPG. What about the schedule? That's the next question I get asked all the time, and that's going to be very simple and straightforward. I want to be as flexible as possible, so my plan is to release new lessons every Monday, It'll last you for about a week. You could probably crunch through them in a day or two if you're really good and really fast, but it's intended to go throughout the entire week and give you plenty of time to work through the problems, figure out how everything kind of goes together, and understand and really absorb the architecture. We'll have a weekly Q&A call every Wednesday, and I may bump that up to two calls depending on how many questions come in and just how long that goes. And of course, if you have questions along the way, you can just email them to me for a faster response instead of waiting for the Q&As. What about challenges? That's the next question, and it's a great one. This is one that comes from past students who've done some of my courses where at the end of lessons, I like to challenge the students to come up with new solutions, new techniques, or new tricks to get the problem solved, or maybe to come up with a new problem that we can solve. And we'll definitely be doing a lot of that in this course. This course is all about integrating big systems and well, building big systems. So there are going to be a lot of big challenges where you can try different things, try to build out systems yourself, try to integrate things yourself, and then see the ways that I would solve those problems as well. So that way you can test your knowledge, experiment a little bit, practice, and then learn some of the best techniques that at least I can provide you. How difficult is the coursework? That's another question that I've got quite a bit. And the answer to that is that it's relatively intermediate. I would say that if you can read and write C-sharp code, if you can understand Unity code and build a basic game on your own, then it should be right around your level. If you're above that, then great. You're going to learn some awesome stuff and you're going to learn some really useful tricks and tips to plan a game, build a game, and put it all together. If you're way below that, though, then you definitely want to go through the programmer course as well. Luckily, right now, if you're getting into this, uh, well, if you're watching this sometime shortly after I recorded it, the programmer course that takes you through all of the beginner stuff and all of the fundamentals is actually included with this course in a bundle. So if you check that out down below, you should be able to get into both of those. The last question I wanted to answer is, how do I join? When does it start? And what does that look like? Well, you can join right down below. We're starting on Monday with the first set of lessons and then that first Q&A call on Wednesday. Of course, you can join after Monday. That's totally fine. You'll be able to catch up and go at whatever speed you need to go at. Also, by the way, for my existing students, you may already be added to the course. You may already have access to it. Just keep an eye out on email and I'll let you know about the eligibility to join for free if you're not already dropped into there. Now, if you have more questions that I didn't answer today, feel free to send them over to me in an email and I'll try to get to them as quick as possible before we get started. And for everybody who's coming to join me on Monday, I'm excited to see you there. It should be a lot of fun, and I hope you're as excited as I am to get started.